Hello, I'm our facts of Mars. And once again, so-called researchers are doing something which is utterly stupid. Uh, this will be a mad science update. In an attempt to gather data on the effects of long-term isolation without any notion of time on the human brain, 15 volunteers will spend 40 days in a cave in France it was described as the world's first, which it is not. Eight men and seven women will be just spending 40 days isolated in a large cave without phones, watches, or any type of device that can help them tell time. They're going to go nuts. The project is called Deep Time, and it's brainchild of Franco-Swiss explorer Christian Klatt. Not Clad. Klatt. Who himself is one of the participants. He, along with 40 other volunteers, will start a timeless life experiment today and will be spending the next 40 days isolated in a large cave in the Pyrenees. They are all equipped with sensors, allowing a dozen scientists to follow them from the surface. Here's an old term that needs to be uh, understood here it's called cabin fever. You see, uh, many years ago, when you had gold prospectors going up to Alaska, during the severe winter months, they would stay inside a cabin, often isolated. They wouldn't get to see any other people, and they started going nuts. This is how I know they're going to go nuts. It's probably, this might not be as bad, because there's 15 of them. The term cabin fever describes the psychological symptoms that a person may, may experience when they are confined to their home for extended periods. Such symptoms may include feelings of restlessness, irritability, and loneliness. What do you think? Then they go on and talk about the Wuhan flu and how uh, Government's been locking people up, and they don't mention that it's tyranny. At any rate, back to the article. So they're probably going to go nuts, because when you have these uh, prospectors and such are in the cabins, oftentimes they turn down one another. They just got on either, each other's nerves. You know, that was a different world. They had to stay inside for months on end. With no sunlight, and it just overwhelmed them. And here, these people be staying for months on end with no sunlight, and they're going to be isolated in there. It's going to drive them nuts. I'm thinking this experiment is the world's first, Professor. Etienne Cochlin, Director of the Cognitive and Computational Neurosciences Laboratory in the... Holy sh... Alright, that's enough of that. Until now, all missions of this type focus on the study of physiological rhythms of the body, but never on impact of this type of temporal rupture on the cognitive and emotional functions of the human being. Bullshit. Like I said, this is called cabin fever, is what they're going to develop. And it's potentially dangerous. They never learn. They don't study their history. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, not looking good. For the home team here. Well, if a couple of them beat the, sh beat the snot out of each other, and may have learned, but then again, you that all on the street. And of course, the uh, illegal lockdowns from the Wuhan flu fraudemic 
it just made that worse. I'm on a to Mars. Once again, I can't deal. Sorry, folks. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching.